Jared Poland, Fronosphoto.com, and this is your <laughs> photo <laughs> news fix. This photo news fix is brought to you by the Lawnmower 2.0 from Manscaped. Now, there's always been one question I've gotten more than anything else, and that is... Hey, Fro, do you have a Fro below? The answer is no. No, there's no Fro below, thanks to the Lawnmower 2.0 from Manscaped that makes manscaping safe and easy. Hashtag say no to the Fro below. I've been using the Perfect Package 2.0 that includes everything seen here and features the Lawnmower 2.0 that's waterproof, recharged, and skin safe, AKA no nicks or snags, and comes with a nick your sack, send it back, guarantee. To learn more and pick up the Perfect Package 2.0, head on over to manscaped.com and be sure to use the code FRO20 to get 20% off plus free shipping and a free gift. First up, Tamron has announced the development of what I think is a confusing zoom range lens. Introducing the Tamron 70 to 180 2.8 compact telephoto full frame zoom lens for Sony E-mount bodies. This lens weighs in at just 815 grams or 1.8 pounds and get this, it's a grower and not a shower. I was in the pool! At 5.9 inches long or 149 millimeters. Oh, hey Steven, how many millimeters are you? It's funny how when it comes to lenses, some think that smaller is actually better, though others might still say it's how you use it. That's what she said. Now I find this zoom range to be extremely odd. The reason I buy a telephoto lens is to give me the ability to reach out and grab the photo and not have to crop. Chopping off 20 millimeters from the long end of this zoom in favor of something smaller and more compact doesn't exactly work for me. Oh, change me more. Though, it might actually work for some of you. Yeah, put me down too, man, yeah. I get one. Now, there's no word on pricing just yet, but if I compare it to the 70 to 200 2.8 G2 that's $1,200, this one will probably clock in around 900. Continuing on with lens announcements, Canon has officially announced pricing and availability for the long-awaited RF 70 to 180 2.8 IS. 70 to 200. All oh, right, sorry, sorry. This isn't a Tamron lens. It's a 70 to 200 Canon. As we showed you a few weeks back, this lens no longer has internal zooming, but does maintain internal focusing. Canon assured us that weather sealing is not affected by the lens barrel extending. I guess this is a grower and not a shower as well. I was in the pool! and we'll have to play with it in the real world. Kind of like playing with it in the real world, Stephen. That's what she said. All 146 millimeters. Up. 149, correction, 149. I need every millimeter. That's what she said. I know I was disappointed when I first saw that this lens would not be internal zooming. No! But that disappointment mostly went away when I saw how small and compact this lens is. The fact that it no longer needs to lay flat and take up two spots where lenses normally go in my camera bag, and it simply can stand up in one, makes this a big plus. The RF 70-200 2.8 will be available in November at a not so terrible price of $26.99, which is actually cheaper than Nikon's latest 70-200 2.8 F mount. Now, will one of you 12 EOS R owners be picking one of these up? Sick burn! I forgot to say RP owners too. Next up, are you a hipster, millennial, generation Zer, which is the new group to make fun of after millennials, by the way, an old person or Adam Lerner, and like to shoot film and plan on flying with unprocessed rolls of film? Well, I have a warning for you. The TSA and American Airlines have started rolling out new 3D CT X-ray scanners from a company called, hey Steven, is, is this actually right? Wait, hold on. Let me sound it out like my mother always taught me. You say eat sound. The company is called an an anal logic. Yes, that, that actually sounds right. Now here's the rub with these new anal logic machines. If you insert your unprocessed rolls of film in the backside of this machine, your film will be ruined. Freestyle photo on Instagram said using the new machine is like putting your film through the old scanner about a thousand times. So how do you bypass one of these scanners if you encounter one and have unprocessed film? Simple, you nicely tell the TSA agent that you would like to hand check your unprocessed film. We don't give a damn about who you are. At which point they will yell at you. Let your little ass take one more step. Tell you to remove your shoes and belt, shut the fuck up and get back in line. And then this happens. Hey Steven, guess what? I'm switching to Fuji. 
No, you're not. All right, I'm not, but I would like to try out the just announced Fuji X-Pro3. Created with street photographers and photojournalists in mind, this rangefinder inspired mirrorless camera is now officially official. Sporting a crop 26.1 megapixel X-Trans CMOS sensor, ISO range of 160 to 12,800, 3.69 million dot EVF, and an optical viewfinder, this camera is bound to make Fuji people happy. I mean, basically, Fuji could put out a and that would still make Fuji fan people happy. Nonetheless, this camera does do some interesting things. For one, it has a hidden three inch LCD tilting touchscreen, and two, it includes a mini display that can show you what film simulation you are using. What it should really show is this. Shame, shame, shame. If you'd like to pick up the X-Pro3, it can be yours for $1,800 for the standard black version or $2,000 for the stronger black or silver edition. Honestly, I'd love to take this camera out for a spin. So Fuji, send me the camera because I will accept the challenge. And finally, Canon has arisen from the ashes. Wait, no. No, they haven't, but they're trying. This week, Canon announced the development of the 1DX Mark III and surprisingly shared a ton of specs. Now, please keep in mind that the information they shared with us might change by the time the camera becomes official. The 1DX Mark III will basically have the same exact body as the Mark II, all the way down to using the same battery. They've completely revamped the memory card slots by including two, yes, two CF Express card slots. Now, this is important because Canon claims that this camera will shoot 16 frames a second when using the optical viewfinder and 20 frames per second when in live view with both the mechanical and electronic shutter. Now, Steven, that's some A9 shit right there, except for the fact it doesn't actually have a usable EVF. Canon says the new camera will incorporate new digit processors, which will lead to better high ISO shooting. Action shooters will be happy to know that Canon has updated the camera with new AF algorithms, as well as a new type of optical AF sensor that has 28 times higher resolution whatever that means. In live view, you will have dual pixel AF with 525 selectable autofocus points. There's built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and GPS, but there was no mention of IBIS. Now, as we move on to the video specs, Canon says the 1DX Mark III has the best movie shooting performance in EOS history, or EOS history for those who care. It will shoot 10-bit 422-4K up to 60 frames per second internally along with C-Log. On top of that, it will be able to shoot raw video internally. From the sounds of it, this is going to be the greatest Canon Pro DSLR ever, and probably it will be its last. So how much will it cost? Well, we don't know that just yet, but let me know how much you think it will be down below. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And now it's time to Manscape. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.